Hello, and welcome to another Tech Depth tutorial. In today's episode, we will be showing you how to tear down an iPad Pro 12.9 5th generation, model A1823. All parts and tools demonstrated in the video will be linked in the description below. Make sure to grab anything you need from our website, techdepth.com. Let's get into it. The iPad Pro 12.9 uses a very strong glue to secure the screen to the unit. To combat this, we use 90% or higher isopropyl alcohol and let the device heat up on a heating pad for at least 5 to 10 minutes at 85 degrees Fahrenheit to break down the glue. We recommend using a softer item like plastic playing cards to cut the glue in between the screen and the housing. Using a plastic tool to cut the screen away from the housing avoids putting uneven pressure on the screen, which could result in either a cracked LCD or glass. Metal tools are more prone to resulting in these. We also use guitar picks to hold up the corners of the screen to avoid it gluing itself back down while we're cutting the rest of the screen away to the frame. Keep in mind that the 5th and 6th generation iPad Pros have either a liquid Retina XDR display or a mini LED display compared to its predecessors. These screens are more fragile and susceptible to line segments when being worked on or with. TechDepth.com is your hub for parts, tools, services, and more. With our ever-expanding inventory, we are sure to have what you need. Check out the link below or the card on screen to see all of our offerings. After freeing the screen from the unit, gently lift up while pulling down slightly to the bottom so you can access the screws that are holding the Face ID sensor in. Do not try to remove the screen from the unit until the Face ID is disconnected. And don't pull too hard or you risk damaging the flex cable.
The front camera has two T4 screws that will need to be removed. The rear camera will also come out in this step. Proceed by removing the charging port screws and then the charging port itself. This unit has four speakers, each with a two pin connector. Make sure to disconnect all the speaker wires before moving on. After making sure all the connectors and coax cables are disconnected from the main board, apply some isopropyl alcohol underneath the board as there's glue holding it in. Place the unit on a heating pad for 5 to 10 minutes at a temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a pry, in this case a plastic playing card, gently move underneath the main board to cut the glue until the unit is free. Thank you for watching. This concludes another TechDep tutorial. We hope you enjoyed. Leave any questions, comments, and feedback in the comments below. Remember to check out our website, techdep.com, for all of your tech and tech service needs. Thank you again for your support. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe.